Save hours filling metadata. Use one CSV to add titles, keywords, categories, and more to hundreds of Shutterstock assets, then upload it once. Welcome back. If you're not familiar with Shutterstock, it's an online marketplace where you can sell your content, including photos, 3D models, vectors, illustrations, videos, and templates. If you're curious about becoming a contributor on Shutterstock, check out the tutorial on my YouTube channel, Facebook, or TikTok. Today I'll show you how to prepare and upload a CSV metadata template to Shutterstock. This will simplify your content submission and save you time. So let's get started. To obtain the Shutterstock CSV template, after logging in, go to the Not Submitted section. If you don't have any images uploaded there, the Upload CSV button will not be shown. To make it appear, click Upload. Select any image, then click Open. After your images are uploaded, the Upload CSV button will appear. Click it, and the dialog will open. Then click Download Example CSV file, and save it where you want. After downloading the CSV file, it will look like this. Give it a name. Next, open any spreadsheet program. I will use Excel. I will upload my file to OneDrive to open it in Excel. After uploading, open the file in your spreadsheet. Here is the spreadsheet. The first column is for the file name. The second column is for the image description. The third column is for the image keywords. The fourth column is for the image categories. The fifth column is for editorial or commercial use. The sixth column indicates whether the content is mature. The seventh column indicates whether the asset is a photo or an illustration. So, to fill out this metadata, start with the file name. In the second row of the file name column, enter the image file name. Open the folder with your files. Select the full file name including its extension. For example, .jpg, .png, .mp4, or .mal. Copy it, return to the spreadsheet, and paste it into the second row of the file name column. Then, enter the image description in the second row of the description column. The description may be up to 200 characters long. Then add up to 50 keywords in the keywords column. Next, fill the categories column. The first category is required, the second is optional. Set editorial to know if the content is not editorial. In mature content enter yes for mature images or no if not. Finally, in the last column enter no for photographed images or yes for illustrations. For the next image, open your files folder, select the full file name including extension, copy it, return to the spreadsheet, and paste it into row 3 of the file name column. Enter the second image description in row 3 of the description column. Then add up to 50 keywords in the keywords column. Fill the categories column for that row. The first category is required, the second is optional. If you're unsure which Shutterstock category to use, click the link in the description or comment below to open the page. Scroll to Category Definitions. Find the category that relates to your image. And check the category titles and descriptions to find the best match. If no category fits, use miscellaneous. Can be used for any subject matter. Return to the spreadsheet. Then paste the chosen category into the spreadsheet. Set editorial to know if the content is not editorial, or yes if it is editorial. In the mature content column enter yes for mature images or no if not. Finally, in the last column enter yes for illustrations or no for photographed images. You can add metadata for more images by repeating the same steps in the following rows. Finally, export the metadata. In Excel, click file in the top left corner. Then export, and choose download as CSV UTF-8. Give the file a name and save it. Next, go back to your Shutterstock account, and upload your images. Click upload in the top right corner. Open your files folder, select the images, and drag them into the upload dialog. The upload will begin automatically. After uploading the images, there will be no metadata on either image. Final step, upload your CSV file. Click the Upload CSV. Then click the Upload CSV button in the Upload window. Select the CSV file and click Open. 
Shutterstock will process the file and then show a dialog reporting whether the CSV processed successfully. If your rows match your images, each image will be linked to its metadata. I have two images, so both rows are linked. If we close the dialog, the upload and processing results will still be available in your contributor dashboard. Select any image will open the info panel on the right. You will see the description and category 1 and category 2 have provided. Keywords are here. And image type. The usage field will show commercial if you set it as such. If we choose another image as well, we will see its description. Category 1 and category 2 also. Keywords here. And the type of image. The usage field will appear as set. Under more options, the mature checkbox will be checked if the image is marked mature. That's it. Following these steps ensures your images are properly prepared, described, and matched to Shutterstock metadata system. A correctly formatted CSV saves time. Always verify file names and encoding. If you found this video helpful, please like, follow, or subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear which topics interest you most. Feel free to share this video with anyone who might benefit from using Shutterstock or selling content on the platform. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Peace.